One day, Sir Topham had arranged with Thomas the tank engine to take his wife and grandchildren to the seaside. The sun shone and everywhere looked splendid. But Lady Hat was feeling hot and tired. She took her troubles out on Annie and Clarabelle. Those coaches are old and uncomfortable. Why don't you use them as beach huts instead? Thomas was most upset. You won't let them turn Annie and Clarabelle into beach huts, will you? Of course not, Thomas, replied his driver. But I must admit they could be smartened up. The next day, Sir Topham Hatt used Percy to take his family to Harold's airfield. They were just about to board Harold when it happened. What was that? cried Sir Topham Hatt. That's Tiger Moth, grumbled Harold. It's rude and flies much too low. So I can see. Please take us up, Harold, before there's another disturbance. A few days later, Harold arrived at their holiday home with bad news. Uh, it's Tiger Moth, said Harold's pilot. It's gone missing. Do you wish to join the search party with us? I think I'd better. called Sir Topham Hatt. Then he spoke to the pilot. You are showing off and flying dangerously. I will speak to your controller and request that you are grounded. Yes, sir, replied the pilot. Now, if you'll excuse me, I shall return to my holiday. Jolly good idea, sir. Sir Topham Hatt arranged to meet up with Toby and Henrietta to take them somewhere special. They arrived at a small river inlet. What a beautiful boat, exclaimed the children. It's my special treat. Sir Topham Hatt took the helm with his wife beside him. It's so nice to be away from the railway for once, he said to her. And far cleaner, she replied but life on the river is very different from that on the rails. The family were enjoying themselves so much that they forgot to watch where they were going. Oh, botheration, said Sir Topham Hatt. We're stuck, and they were. Other boats tried to pull them off the mud bank but it was no use. Percy saw the commotion and stopped. Is there anything we can do to help? called his driver. Yes, indeed there is. <laughs> this is the life, isn't it, my dear? <whistles> Soon they arrived at a small station. There was Thomas with Annie and Clarabelle, who were looking as smart as their new paint inside and out. My! exclaimed Lady Hat. What splendid coaches! So much more suitable than those old beach huts on wheels! No one said a word. But that evening, Annie and Clarabelle spoke to Thomas. It's very nice to get compliments, but no matter what we look like, we'll always be useful, won't we, Thomas? Of course, their friend replied. <laughs> 